Yeah, they said don't drive in Sao Paulo at night. Whatever you do, don't drive in Sao Paulo at night. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 194 <laughs> on our around the world trip. Yes, and we are here on the beautiful Ila Bella in Brazil. Whee! We spent an amazing, relaxing night last night here in our private room in Casamar an amazing property owned by Chris and Daniel. We spent most of the time actually here in the pool yesterday <laughs> for hours and hours and hours. We were really lucky because Daniel saw one of our many posts on Facebook and he said if you're going through this area here make sure that you come and visit my place and this is what we did. We had no idea that his place is this incredible suite here so it was a really really crazy surprise and thank you so much Daniel I can't I don't know what to say like it's just incredible <laughs> yeah it was a really good choice to come by this island yes. definitely definitely yes. I mean we are used to our tent or used to like the cheapest hostel we can find so to experience something like this for us is something very special but unfortunately it is time to go we do have to hit the road and continue south so let me show you guys where we're heading today so we are just here on the south side of Ila Bella and today we are going to be returning to the mainland heading down the coast and in to Sao Paulo. Yes we have to leave this amazing quiet slice of paradise to head to the largest city in Brazil. It's going to be a really big change today. <laughs> yes. yes we are going to visit a friend. He actually knows our YouTube channel from the time where we cycled a 2000 kilometer across Britain. <laughs> our next trip will be on a motorbike so it's going to be really cool that we can come and meet up with him and spend some time with him over the next couple of days our navigation says it takes about five hours so better hit the road let's go i just want to stay sweetheart i want something like this later in the future with ocean view We had a little bit of rain this morning already, but the skies look like they're clearing up. So we might be lucky. Can't believe that Daniel and his wife built this entire thing over the last 20 years. Look at this like crazy, crazy staircase. And all of these, this is their main house. Yes. Awesome. Okay, let me see about this. <laughs> okay, right, let's go. <laughs> okay. At first the inner, now the outer. Yeah, I don't know why, but that's what I chose. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Daniel. Yeah. We see you. Thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. What an incredible experience. Oh yeah, that was a slice of luxury for us. <laughs> oh, there is a little bit of rain coming down. Can't believe the luck we had with the weather yesterday. We arrived and it was just such the perfect afternoon and evening to chill in the pool. Wow. Yeah, I think really we spent like five hours in the pool. Yeah, it was a really, really nice, beautiful, quiet night. Yeah, I think really it's like the, the quietest and nicest place here in Brazil. <laughs> Apart from these little frogs going, <laughs> doing their noises in the night. But that was fine. I can accept frog noise. <laughs> That's nice. So we've got about 10 miles to head back over to the port of this island on these crazy windy up and down roads. So we'll make our way back over. Apparently the ferry to get back, it was 10 reales to come here, which is about a pound 50 and it's free to go back. So we just got to get over to the port, take the ferry back to the mainland and we'll be on our way to Sao Paulo. Race begins! Back on the mainland! Whee! <laughs> it's like uh, when the horses come out of the gates in a horse race, it's like <laughs> and all the bikes just go Meow. Yeah, so first stop will be um, an ATM here because we run out of money completely <laughs> and we need a little bit of cash. Always good to carry some cash, hey? A little bit at least, hey? A little bit. <laughs> Left 0.1 not this one here, the next one. This is quite a cool front here. Look at this. Yeah. That's quite quaint. Quaint. <laughs> quaint. <laughs> that looks nice. Alright, on our way out of São Sebastião, the town on the other side of Ilabella, we've got cash and it is still slightly raining at the moment. A little bit of moisture coming down, so I hope that doesn't continue for the whole ride today. Yeah, the forecast doesn't look that bad. In the afternoon it should actually stop completely, so the navigation says actually that we will arrive in about four hours. We will see if we can make it today. We hope so and that we don't have to break our rule to ride in the dark. Yeah, especially around Sao Paulo, people have said not to not to ride it in the dark. So if it's getting dark, I think we'll have to call it a day wherever we get to, but we'll see how far we can get. Yeah. And interestingly, this is actually the first day of rain we've had since like Spain. The rain is coming down. Yeah, I think we're going to hit it bad now. Which is absolutely crazy how we rode for probably two months without a single drop of rain. But we were in the Sahara, so... <laughs> so yeah, pretty much 88 miles here along the coast and then we turn inland to Sao Paulo. 88 miles to go, let's do it.
guys, we just turned around because there was a sloth <laughs> on that side of the road. Yeah, so cute. He was climbing very slowly up the hill. As they do. We're going to see if we can stop and have a look. Go slowly. What Should would it like? be. Just here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, just yeah. there. Wow, look at that. <gasps> wow. <gasps> wow. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, look at him. Wow. He's unbelievable. He's unbelievably cute. It's the first time that either of us have ever seen a sloth. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's with a little baby as well and the guy's trying to move him away. Put him on a tree. Wow! Incredible! And the sloth was smiling, so cute! He was like, <laughs> he said, oh good, don't worry about me. I will make my way. <laughs> he has so like really nice human impressions, I think. Like he looked so... Oh, she looked so uh, calm and nice and just beautiful. That was worth stopping and turning around for. <laughs> Definitely. <gasps> see such a beautiful animal. <laughs> All right, guys, we're into the afternoon now. And uh, the road has opened up quite a lot what was a small winding road around the coast for ages has uh, sort of smoothed out into a bigger highway with epic mountain views around us yeah that's really nice we've still got the same beautiful views around but now we can cruise a little bit faster we can get a bit more wind and it's actually been pretty smooth for the past hour yeah, the rain seems to have stopped completely. We even had a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> That's been really, really nice to dry off. Look at that, a bit of blue sky. The sun is just starting to peek through. Hello. Oh. <laughs> yes. We have full sunshine. Look at that. <laughs> nice. But the amount of forest on this coastal road is incredible. We're actually still, I think, within the confines, within the grounds of the Cerro del Mar Natural Park. I'm really impressed, actually. The forest just goes on and on and on around us. It's actually really, really nice to see that there's still a huge amount of forest around. So we've still got a couple of hours of the ride to go. Just under two hours estimation. We are fighting a little bit with the daylight because the sunset is in just over two hours. So it's getting pretty tight, but, but hopefully we'll be able to make it all the way there. So we've entered this crazy, massive highway heading towards Sao Paulo called the BR-160 and it's just a monster of a highway. It's like all the previous roads of today were just going with the natural landscape up and over and this highway is just like BAM! Through! Wow! Wow! Here just so many trucks as well on this highway. Yeah, this highway is a little bit fast-paced, a little bit crazy. Look at where this highway is. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. That's insane. Oh, a little bit of a traffic jam here. <laughs> Look at this. Traffic jam on the highway. Wow. Picturesque, man. Hitting some jams already. Yeah. And we still got an hour to go to get in. 
Well, it looks like we're riding into the clouds. <laughs> wow. I think this is really the craziest highway we have ever been on. Huh. Wow, how many bridges, how many tunnels. Yeah, this is just tunnels and bridges. The wow. government was like, you know, the planners were like, okay, so I think we're going to just wind through the valley, you know, go up and over the hill. And the government were like, no, no, we want one level and whatever's in front, you either build a bridge or a tunnel. <laughs> Look at that, I can't even see the ground over there. I can just see the sky. Yeah. Six lanes on this highway. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Six lanes. In front, the city rears its head. The sea of skyscrapers. Oh, yes. <laughs> Crazy. Look, we had heard about this, but I hadn't seen it up until now. But look, there is actually a motorcycle lane. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, we might be a little bit wide for it. I'm not 100% sure I trust it, but... I can't trust it. But it's a cool idea, definitely. It just feels a little bit weird. It does feel a bit weird. Oh my God. But Sao Paulo, I appreciate the effort. I've just got to get used to like, being as close to the cars as we are. I know, maybe this is a good um, exercise for us. <laughs> oh, look at all these. Wow. <laughs> cool. cool. Sao Paulo, woo! The primero, aquí. I'm just saying any word I can think of. Oh, here we go. The bike gang is off. <laughs> Whoa! There's like three major roads coming together at this point. It's absolutely mental here. Wow. Everyone wants to get home at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I think we will be pretty much stuff, stuck in traffic for the whole 18 miles. <laughs> oh my god, do you think so? Yeah. I mean, look how many lanes is going on here. There's wow. at least three over there, one over there, four here. It's wow! Just... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines and a bridge. <laughs> and an overpass because there just wasn't enough on the ground. <laughs> Guys, how many cars are here? I've never seen, I've never seen roads like this anywhere. And I was like uh, scared to ride in, in Paris. Oh my God. Woo, these guys are crazy. Paris has got nothing on this. Nothing. It's getting closer and closer to sunset. Probably got less than half an hour left. And we still have 12 miles of the city to cover <laughs> i really don't know how anyone could live here and deal with a problem like this every day this is honestly beyond ridiculous really These beyond roads are crazy oh man it's quarter to six yeah sun's dropping fast and we just want to get over to our friend's place yeah and it's quite difficult because because we navigated with our Garmin, so we couldn't really check properly where it's actually going and stuff. And then suddenly we realized that our Garmin navigated us through the middle of the city. <laughs> we thought that it was the best way, apparently. Yes, before our plan was to go around the city because they're having a, like a ring road around it. But no, no, we didn't double check it. And now we are here in the middle of the city. <laughs> So my tip for you guys, double check your navigation. We've had to resort to going through the traffic like this, like all the other bikes. 
But I must say, it's pretty dodgy. Yeah, I don't like it too much, but otherwise we would stay here probably for uh, two days in this traffic it's, jam. It's a massive jam. Okay, and be it careful goes here. On for ages. Ah, that's too tight. That's too tight. Too tight. But well, everyone else is going to go for it. Look. <laughs> Oh my god. Amazing man, this, this guy is like the queue of bikes heading through the center of the traffic. Oh my god. Wow. But when there's two trucks like that, that's just too tight for me and our giant bike. Oh my god. There's only so much I can handle. <laughs> and the sun is nearly on the horizon now. Yep. Looks like the exit lane is a bit clearer. There's another traffic jam coming here though. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Totally blocked. Totally blocked. <laughs> Four and a half miles, let's do it. It's basically dark now. We are just under a mile away and we've switched from the highway to the crazy up and down hills. Yeah, they said, don't drive in Sao Paulo at night. Whatever you do, don't drive in Sao Paulo at night. I don't know. I think at the moment, I would still consider this the end of day rather than night. Yeah, 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 just about. <laughs> We're like on the limit though. Very on the limit, oh my God. But we have passed by all the traffic Bumblebee has carried us like a real trooper through the crazy streets and it looks like we will arrive in one piece physically I don't know about mentally <laughs> oh my god I will be traumatized for sure yeah I think we said that that is maybe it for cities for big cities yes yeah that's it I mean this experience today was just um, not really necessary <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you put it. This experience was not really necessary. <laughs> oh look, South Fernan Fernando, that's it. Is it? Yeah. Okay, then go here to the left. Wow, this is really, really nice in here. Ah, what dia? What dia? Haha. Oh my god. Woo. We made it! Happy and alive! <laughs> <laughs> Only just in time. It was getting really, really dark. I think it was basically pitch black by the time we actually arrived. Yeah, it was a really hairy ride and definitely not to recommend to anybody. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that we ended up going almost directly through the center of the largest city in Brazil. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but we did arrive here and it was all good at the end. Our friend actually invited us to a pizza. Yummy pizza. <laughs> <laughs> So we had some pizza already with him and he's taking care of us very very well so he prepared our room and he got us some nice food and it was really nice really really nice to arrive here and to just you know we are home <laughs> We did at the end 160 miles, which is about 260 kilometers. So pretty long ride today, a lot of hours and it's time for bed. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comments below. We will see you next time. Hazard light is on. I don't know how to put the hazard light on. Oh my god, you're going for it now, hey? <laughs>